In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your PS5 background to any image on your PS5. Now, by default, you can't actually do this, but there's kind of a little workaround that you can do so you can have any image as the background. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go on to your PlayStation 5 and make sure you're logged into your account. Now, it's specific for each account which background you have, so make sure you're logged into the account you want to change. And we just want to go up to the top and go over to our profile here and then we want to go to where it says profile we want to scroll all the way over to where it says edit profile then we can scroll down to where it says cover image so we can go ahead here and press select image and by default we're able to go ahead and select all of these screenshots from our games for the cover image so depending on what games you've been playing you know I've got spider-man here I've got monopoly um, you know full guys I could pick any of these images if I wanted to but the thing is this is not like a completely custom image this is one that's already on here so let's say you want to have a custom image of a car or something like that there is a workaround that you can actually do this so what you're gonna have to do is go back to the sort of main menu and you want to press the PlayStation button and go over to the game base here now once you're in game base you want to scroll down to your friends and you want to find any friend here and you want to just send them a link. Now you're going to want to send them bing.com or google.com. So when you send them this, it's going to basically give you a browser which you can open up. And this browser you're able to go ahead and find images. So I'm just going to go into bing.com here and it's going to open up. And now once I'm here, what I can do is I can type in uh, something in here. So I'm going to go to the search, search the web and let's type in um, car. And then I can go ahead and search it. So what I've done now, once I've searched it, I've gone over here to my images or to the images. And I'm going to go ahead and find an image that I like for my background. So let's say that I like this image here. I would click on it. And basically, I want to go ahead and click on it again and make it as big as possible. So here we go. And from here, what I want to do is I want to screenshot it. So to screenshot it, you're going to press the sharing button. It's above the D-pad. It's got like three uh, lines above it. It's on the left-hand side of your controller. So you usually have to press and hold that for a second, and that is the screenshot button. So I'm going to press and hold it. And you can see the top right has had that little tick button, which means the screenshot has been successful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back. Uh, I can X out of the browser now. Just keep pressing circle till you leave. And I can go back to the same place I was earlier. So profile, um, back to edit profile, all the way down to cover image. And I can basically go ahead and now select that image that I've just taken. So this one here. So I can press select. And now it's going to get me to go ahead and crop it. So we'll crop it and zoom. So I can go ahead and zoom in here. Um, if I basically press this here. Uh, there we go. So I've cropped it. And I can go to the position as well. And I can just move it down a little bit. Now you can see I left the cursor in, which is kind of annoying, so make sure you move the cursor out of the way. But you can see there, I can set that as my background now. I can press save. And my profile image background should have changed now. I can press done and it should be there. So now if I go ahead to my profile um, again, I should see it as my background there we go you can see it now is my background simple as that now you can pretty much do this with any image um, obviously it's not gonna be super high resolution but you can see it's pretty good for what it's worth uh, the only thing is I've got the cursor in it so that's kind of annoying but um, that's basically how you go about doing it if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe comment down below that helps you out and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one